Hey, Vinyl Cousy, Mark here again from Sound Matters, talking all things vinyl as always. Today, we're going to take a look at how you can restore used album jackets with very, very cheap household items that a lot of you probably have already in your home. And if not, you can obtain them very, very cheaply. So I have three used album jackets here, each with their own individual different signs of age. So we're gonna take a look at each individual different problem here and see if we can fix them very cheaply and bring a little bit more of a lease of life back into these absolutely fantastic classic album covers. All right, so as I say, I've got three album covers here to restore each with individual different issues that we're going to try and tackle with basic household items. This is, of course, a copy of Sgt. Pepper's, and the beautiful thing about this is it's an original mono pressing. I found this in a record store yesterday and just couldn't resist picking it up. But it does have quite a lot of signs of muck and dirt up here in the lighter parts of the album cover that I'm going to try and, I don't know, reduce. I don't know that I'm going to be able to remove all of that, but I think I can probably... Hope hopefully try to uh, just bring it up and spruce it up a little bit with some basic household items. Same again on the inside cover, you can probably see hopefully on the camera here, there's a few different little bits of specks of mold. It'd be very interesting to sort of see that if I can, uh, I don't know, just reduce this to some degree and just bring it up a little bit brighter and make it look a little less dirty. But other than that, the album cover is in generally pretty good shape and it also comes with all the original inserts. So they put the record in a new sleeve but it does have it has the sergeant pepper cutout pieces the original one of those and it also has the original sleeve inside as well which is in fairly good shape for the age really i would say next up we've got a copy of the self-titled fleetwood mac album of course the first album to feature stevie nicks and lindsey buckingham absolute classic album i picked this up quite a long time ago and i've just never really got round to removing the sticker so i picked this up for a bit of a bargain really so only it was only seven pounds to me here in the uk but that was quite a few years ago. I think record prices have started to rise quite significantly for used records since I purchased this. But I'd like to get rid of this sticker. So I'm going to try and do that today because sometimes they very well, they almost always, these types of stickers leave some sort of residue behind. So I'm going to try and attempt to remove it and remove the residue at the same time. The third one is Blondie Parallel Lines, and the simple issue here is that we've got a split seam or a seam that's starting to come away from the adhesive here. There's a really easy way to fix this, so let's get straight into the first album, see if we can restore that and go one by one with the different techniques. So for the Sgt. Pepper's record cover, I'm gonna use two very cheap, simple items. I'm gonna use some household baby wipes, just wet wipes, any type of wet wipe will do. These are really good for cleaning up album jackets and just removing surface noise in quite a, surface noise? What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> surface grub on top of an album cover. So we'll use that, that's gonna help us quite a lot. But sometimes actually what is really useful is a uh, household eraser, as you call it in the States, or as in the UK, we just, we call these rubbers. So let's get started, I'm gonna get a wet wipe. So already you can see that a lot of that muck has just very easily come off the surface there and um, I'm going to keep going and then hopefully you'll get an idea on the camera as to how much I have managed to remove once I'm done. So pause here just for a second just to show you the progress that's actually going really well it's coming off quite easily i'm not all that sure that i'm even going to need the eraser or rubber so um, let's keep going but we'll see whether the rubber can take any of these tougher spots any further we need to be careful of course not to rub too hard because i don't want to take um well i don't want to i don't want to damage the uh, the jacket permanently in any way either even though it's more visible on this top part, and a lot of that is pretty much now gone, I am going to go over the entire jacket as well because it, there will be less visible dirt there, but I just want to clean it up because, well, it's just kind of gross to have years of muck from somebody else over a used record. So I will apply this over the entire jacket as well, not just this bit where it's really visible. In this instance, it's actually really easy to do this without causing damage because essentially the album jacket is laminated. So that means that, you know, it's basically, for the most part, apart from where, there's, where it's worn down into the paper, it is basically waterproof. 
So I'll just pause there for a second because I needed to go get myself a uh, something to dry the album cover with. I don't want to leave loads of wet streaks on there or over-absorb it for too long. So I'm just going to use a microfiber towel to dry up and finish off the front of the album cover. But I'm really pleased with just the wet wipe, how that has come together. It immediately just looks a lot brighter, a lot less dirty and feels a lot less gross. So just to pause there and show you how that looks, it's all looking pretty good. I'm very, very pleased with that. Let's have a look at the inside cover and see whether we can achieve the same thing. This is actually a really good example for this kind of muck because those bright colors on Sergeant Peppers really show up where you've got solid bright colors. It really just shows up a lot of those problems. Other album covers where it might be a little bit darker or um, less vibrant will often hide a lot of these issues and you just don't notice in the same way. So it just looks particularly unsightly when it's um, so bright like this. That's coming up quite nicely on that yellow bit there already. Uh, there's some visible mold here on um, McCartney's jacket. So let's go straight into that as well. It's amazing what wet wipes will remove. You only have to press very, very gently to achieve a very decent clean on these laminated jackets. And would you look at that? That is a million times better than it was before. I'm really pleased with the outcome. That's just with a simple wet wipe and it looks a lot better. Now, if we compare it to my 2000, I think it's 2017, this was done, the Giles Martin, George Martin Sun remix of the his interpretation in a stereo way of the original mono mix here. This is, uh, you know, pretty close, actually. You know, I'm considering that that is obviously a brand new record and this is the original real deal. I'm very happy with how that looks for its age. So that's basically it for this album cover. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it any better than that. I did attempt with the eraser for a little while to see if I could just remove a few of those little extra trouble spots that the wet wipe failed to remove. But in this case, it didn't really have much of an impact. So I'm going to stop there with this album cover. I am really happy with the outcome, just using a very simple household wet wipe. Now let's take a look at that little troublesome sticker here that we want to remove. So of course I'm expecting when I start to peel that away for it to well and truly leave a little bit of residue. Let's give it a go and just see what happens. Um, and it is a paper sleeve so there might not be an awful lot I can do here but I'm going to attempt first of all because it'll be a little bit more gentle than the wet wipe to apply the eraser or rubber to the album cover and see if we can just yeah see if we can lift some of that residue off there's a chance that that has stained the album cover for good unfortunately a little bit of benefit there there's more much more to cover on the topic of this video of course but just for a moment i want to thank the sponsors of sound matters for their continued support first up is groove washer who make my absolute favorite record cleaning fluid to use by hand but also on record cleaning machines next up of course is 12 inch who make the beautiful bamboo based record display systems that i used to display records on the wall behind me in every video and of course picture discs as well finally it's vinyl moon who are the best record subscription service if you love art driven vinyl releases and discovering new artists each month they work with a different artist to create beautiful and creative vinyl mixtapes of the best emerging music from around the globe you'll find a discount code for each sponsor in the description of course but it's time to get back to the video and the topic so unfortunately, I wasn't able to remove the sticker from the Fleetwood Mac album. That sticker had just become baked into what was a matte finish album cover. So if you've not got a gloss album cover like this, they can be very difficult to remove. And if you leave them on too long, it can cause that permanent mark and damage. So let that be a lesson to you kids. Remove those stickers as soon as you get them back from the record store. Don't be lazy like I was and leave it on there because you will leave eventually a permanent mark in that instant. So no amount of wet wiping or a razor applying was going to get rid of that. It did remove some of the goo, but it became very uh, very obvious very quickly that if I carried on for too long with this I was going to end up boring a hole in that record so sadly in that case I had to stop but that's a good demonstration to show that you yeah absolutely must remove those labels as soon as possible so sad that that happened but hey you live and you learn but just to demonstrate that wet wipes and erasers can help with these stickers I've got another sort of bargain basement recording here and I'm just going to try removing this sticker 
and we'll use the wet wipe and see how we get on. There's just a little bit of paper there that I'm going to struggle to get rid of. And sometimes just a wet wipe just makes it a lot easier. So you just apply that, just soaks it through, and of course, off comes the rest of the sticker. So between an eraser and a wet wipe, they can be helpful for removing labels. But as we've just learned, of course, well, you know that, I know that. If you leave them on for too long, then you are going to cause a permanent mark. So third and final one is the parallel lines issue where we have this split seam or the seam coming away from the flap here. And this is, I mean, this is a situation where a lot of people will just use glue and I don't really like that. I think there's an easier way of doing it. So I've got this double-sided 3M tape here and we're going to apply it to the seam and completely fix it. It will be basically like new. So this stuff's really easy to use. All you need to do is essentially cut yourself a strip which is roughly the size of the seam and of course it's double sized it'll be sticky on this side so you have to be a little bit careful with applying it but all you really need to do is get your finger in here start to stick down this tape this can be a little bit fiddly but i think it's a better solution than glue right so you can see that i've applied the strip in inside here but we need to remove this 3m layer to reveal the second side of the tape so we can stick the album cover together now, the best way to do this is to lay it, so make sure that this doesn't stick because it will stick pretty much instantly. So push the album cover down flat. Then we want to start from the back and work our way to the front. So almost just sort of let it naturally fall. So we don't want to create any sort of lip or bubble here. So we just want to let it naturally fall where it wants to and then push to seal takes a few hours to fully kind of get its strength up but essentially almost pretty much instantly there you go we've got a fully repaired album jacket now not all album covers of course have that seam that's like that the flap inside sometimes you get the more old school style ones where they're basically just a fold over and i've repaired some of these using these strips called seams easy so they essentially rebuild the seam you fold them they're an adhesive based design so it avoids you having that exterior ugly looking tape i'll put a link at the top of this video in the corner probably somewhere and get the pointing right <laughs> somewhere over here so that you can go check out my full review of these strips and how to repair a split seam using the seams easy strips so thank you ever so much for watching that concludes today's video i hope you found this helpful or useful in some way form or another if you've got a tip on how to restore used album covers that i haven't covered today please do drop it in the comments below and share it with the wider vinyl community but if you're new to this channel would love to have you on board please do consider subscribing and until that next video keep on spinning. See you then.